Hey guys, what is going on? Keegan Mall here, and I'm um, sorry for the messed up hair and everything. Took a nap earlier, was just kind of laying down, resting after I did some stuff all day, and you know, it's just kind of messed up. Didn't really go grab a hat, but sorry about all that. But um, nonetheless, we are going to get back into our shout outs today. So, mm -hmm. a double shout out today because we didn't do it from the um, other last two because I just really want to chill my first video on the new COD. So, two times ago, I asked what system you guys need to play in, the beta on, what do you play your COD on. Um, random number generated it, just one to three to pick the system, and um, PS4 won, and then everything. So, shout out to the first person, Sophia Holsko, PS4, that's funner. And then the second one was um, your thoughts on the beta, best COD ever. And even nice little message there, don't anyone, let anyone bring you down. Appreciate that, man. Thank you guys for the support. Today's video is going to be about um, my Logic contract. I went to see Logic last week, just wanted to talk about it, share some pictures and stuff I took. So just comment your favorite Logic song and why don't we pick next time. So um, yeah, let's get right into this. Alright, so what is going on guys? So um... Source has been extended, so the tag still in the videos it was supposed to end on the first, but they extended it to the fourth. I seen Butters tweet. So um, all in all, um, what's up? Hope everyone's been doing well. I know the upload schedule is crappy. Give me another about another week. I'll get a video up there talking about what my plans are and everything, just with the school year and everything going on. Sorry for the hair, still again, you know. But um, all right. So what I wanted to talk about was um last weekend, two weekends ago, I finally seen the homie watch a concert live. I got a couple pictures. Got a little video I want to share. Um, the only video from that night I recorded was 1 800. Now, my whole intentions were to go there and vlog the vlog the night, right? Like just do everything. But I got there and I'm just like, I just want to like have a great night because um I don't know. Like I didn't want I just didn't I didn't want to be saying like this all night. Just for me personally, all I want to do that night was chill, go crazy, scream. I started school the next day and started everything was going and I just wanted to have a fun ass night so I did. I recorded 1-800 because during 1-800 he was like, all right now y'all motherfuckers gotta light this place up. Take out them cell phones. I wanna see all these lights, everyone going crazy. So my video, I'm swinging it around and stuff like that. But um, here's the problem. I tried to up because like with the MOV files, I get the MOVs and then um. I don't have a good converter, so my conversion is upload YouTube unlisted, and then I got a site where I can just download um, videos, like YouTube stuff like that, so like, I can I just um, link my own video and re-download it, and it downloads to an MP4. So that's how I convert. So um, I tried to upload to 1-800, and I tried to do that, and it was like, this video isn't taken down, this video is taken down, and I'm just kind of like, what are you talking about, why is it taken down, I go back. Blocked worldwide. They threw me blocked worldwide. I didn't get a strike or anything because I didn't try and claim anything. I didn't try and put ads on it. It was unlisted and all that. But um, it said 1 800, so it, it just it didn't let me upload that. So I'm not going to put it in this video. What I am going to put in though is his speech. He had a great speech at the end of 1 800. And I'm going to um, throw some pictures up there starting now. We'll start these pictures rolling through. I got about four or five you can see um from the first one that was up there um i tried to show kind of like how many people were at that show like you would see like we were kind of close we were like 10th row so i turned around and i did take a picture just to kind of show i took a couple of them on stage and then i got his speech i'm gonna roll the speech because i don't really got any background music or um i'm sorry many things going on and then at the end of the end of the video i'll play it again so you guys don't have to hear me talking over it and it won't be as low so just to go through um my concert i'll give you like a full concert review so, obviously it was the Everybody Tour, so he played a lot of songs from Everybody. I mean, um, he opened up with Hallelujah. I wish he would have had the Fade Away opener, but he did play Fade Away. Um, his transitions between songs were really good. Like, he talked a little bit, there was a lot of funny moments, but I'm going to go pull up a set list and go through it just from the tour so I can kind of put everything into view for you guys better. So let me go to this. Alright, so we opened up with Hallelujah. That was pretty cool. Um, praise God. All oh my... Oh, yeah, all that. That was really cool. That was a good opener. And uh, there he went to everybody. Great song. Killing Spree. Fade Away. I love that song. It's one of my favorite Logic songs. And hearing it live just made it awesome. Because um, the little sample he has in the beginning, the ha... That's actually taken from um, Deck the Halls. I already knew that, but um, so like... um. Um, and yeah, at the beginning of the song, um, they were playing like Jack the Halls, and it was like, fa -la 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 -la, and they were like, um, the DJ was like, listen closely, and it was like, fa -la 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 -la. and it was really cool how he transitioned it, because he really showed you how he did the sample and stuff like that, 
doesn't fade away to be able to tits kind of thing. It played like, whoa, Super Mario World, take it back. Um, then he brought out Big Limbo, and they did America and Young Jesus. And then Big Limbo played one of his songs. Then they um, did um, Anxiety. That was really cool to see. Under Pressure. That was so hype. I think that was the hypest song of the night. Like, that beat came out, and I was just, and like, you just heard it. I was like, Don't rock, I'm like, I'm like, Don't rock, what is that? What's so fun? That was so awesome to hear. And then after that, you got everyone hype, and he was playing Jump Around, and everyone was going crazy. And then he played Mario Kart, and after Mario Kart, he did I Am The Greatest, and that was really cool. Um, Black Spider-Man, another one. I don't know why. That was one of the hypest songs of the night to hear live. Um, Flexicution was really cool. For some reason, this dude, he was talking about, he was like having a basketball, and every time he would dribble it, he would just be like, Psh. So like he'd be talking, and he would just go, Psh. Psh. I, I, I messed it up. So like he was talking, and he was just saying stuff, and he'd go, Psh. Like just mid-sentence, he'd be like, so, um... I'm doing, and he's just like doing all this stuff, and then he's like, um, I'm gonna shoot this basketball, and when it lands, it's gonna be the most gangster, fucking like coolest, like drop swish um you could hear. And then he was like, all right, you guys ready? And he did like a form and stuff like that. And this after that, it dropped the flexicution beat, and that was awesome. And it was so cool because at the end of flexicution, the um second part. He rapped it really fast, and I actually stayed up with him, and after that, my friend looked at me and was like, Damn, you killed that shit! So that was really cool. That was one of the funnest moments of the night. And then he played 1-800. That's to try, um, that's when I tried to, um, record, and well, I did record, that's the only thing I got recorded of the night. Sadly, he did not bring his wife out. I really wish that, because I'm on the tour, he's been doing that with Jess, and I was really hoping to see that. I love him them to perform that. I've watched a few videos, that's awesome confess and then he came back out and did gang related i tried so hard to get noticed at the end of gang related i was like 10th row and i was going crazy all night uh, i think it was during anxiety i had him i had a point at me and like he kind of like pointed at me and we did a little bit so that was really cool to get noticed so i'm like all right yo i'm in and then from there gang related came out i'm like yo it's time um stood up on my chair i was trying to get noticed over everyone i was still going crazy and like i wrapped all that shit and i'm just like oh my god like that feeling when he picks people and like I'm just going crazy like I was doing the most <laughs> I really was doing the most too honestly and didn't get picked I was ready to kill it to be honest but good set list not a great set list to me because there's a lot of stuff like the oldest song he played was Under Pressure like I wish he would have played at least Ball on 5am go back it's just like you guys know how it is as live fans we all like love the popular stuff it was the everybody tour so obviously was going to play everybody like music but there's just so many songs I would have loved to hear live, like that I could have replaced with some of the stuff. So, um, overall, the show itself, great show. I want to see live again, but overall, the set list, just to me, obviously, we're all going to agree. I'm sure we could agree on some other stuff that you could have played, maybe songs you could have took out, but nonetheless, it was a great night. I would just like to see a little different set list. My thing is, um, because Ultra's going to be his last album, so if he does Ultra 85, He'll most likely have an Ultra 85 tour than a Farewell tour. So like that Farewell tour, I'm really hoping like all the hits are going to be played. Everyone's going to be a little crazy. That show's going to be crazy. But it was an everybody tour, so I would say to play the album. And um, the other songs he played were good. So nonetheless, it was a super freaking fun night. I had a blast. And that dude's killing it. That performance at the VMA has got him so much exposure. It's honestly insane. But I think that's going to wrap this up for me. I just want to talk about that Logic concert and... uh. All the fun I had and just everything. It was a blast. Um, Lovell performing was great. Joey Badass performed. He was pretty good. I don't really know his music, but he was cool. He had, he had the crowd going hype. He definitely had the crowd um, doing well. He was a good performer. There was um, one song everyone was really vibing to. It was like, um, and now we on our way to Vegas and um, shit like that. I don't remember the song though, but I'll have to look it up. But um, yeah. Other than that, um, I think it's going to wrap it up for me. I love you guys. Kitty of Mole, um, like, comment, subscribe, streams. I'm trying to get going back on Twitch. I got a thing I want to talk to you guys. I was talking to about the last couple guys in Twitch stream when I do the wall IRL shit at the end when I go to face cam and just play a little music and chill. But, um, yeah, I got some stuff I want to talk about. I need your guys' help, man. We, I'm at, like, this point or I'm not, like, I, I'm going to talk about it all night. I'm just going to talk about it all next week. Um. Beta's going great, had some beta gameplay behind this and stuff like that, and I'm just going to end this with the video of Logic's speech one last time. So, love you guys, I'll see you soon, I'm trying to get these upload grinds, um, upload on a Saturday, so going to try to get another video out there like Tuesday, I'm just going to try to record something Sunday night, because I don't got much to, to do left of the weekend, so I got to try and get ahead. So, um, yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, enter for that shout-out giveaway, and I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Peace.
Now make some noise if you want to be alive. I want to thank you all so much for being here with me tonight. And I don't just mean here at this show, I'm talking about in this world. I'm so happy that you're alive. I'm so happy that we can share this moment. Because when I was at my deepest and darkest and most unhappy place, if I had just given up like so many have before, I would have never seen this, the light at the end of the tunnel. I would have never to, never been able to have such beautiful things, the most incredible fans in the world, the beautiful wife, friends, family, people who love me. I would have never thought I could get here because I didn't have that growing up. See, I searched for a positive voice, at least one on a mainstream level, a commercial level, in media and in music, because when I was at my lowest, it seemed like there wasn't that. Nobody wanted to talk about mental health, anxiety, depression, and suicide. And so I made this song, not just you know for myself and those who might need it, but, but for my fans and for the world. Because maybe I thought, maybe I could be that voice that, that wasn't out there. Maybe I could be that voice for somebody else out there who might need that, whoever you are, wherever you are. So I wanna thank you guys so much for being here and for persevering. And I want you to know that you are special and that whatever you wanna do in this world, you really can do it. There's so many people who would tell you that it's not gonna work or not to follow your dreams. But you see, those are just people who are telling you what they would do if they were you and they're not you and that's why they're the fuck over there and you are where you are living your life the way you wanna do it because that's what you deserve because you are special and you are beautiful. So I want every single person that is here that can hear me right now that when you leave this place tonight, please do not be a slave to this bullshit system. Go out there, treat people with respect and equality, regardless of race, religion, color, creed, and sexual orientation. And if you don't believe or agree in somebody else's lifestyle, well, so the fuck what? That doesn't mean you have to murder them or stone them to death. Just live in peace if you can. So please continue to survive, continue to be the best you that you can be, and continue to live. So every single person that's here right now, Every single special person that can hear me right now, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to say, I want to be alive. Oh no, louder than that. Say, I want to be alive. Oh, come on, you said fuck you louder than that. As loud as you can, I want you to scream, I'm gonna be alive. Now make some noise for yourselves.